I guess it should be going like this, I don't know. But uh, what you just saw and heard was Quebec's most successful heavy metal band to date, their name, Voivod. Now, the band is celebrating 25 years of Quebec metal this coming long weekend, along with a dozen other bands. And our Leah Hendry is here now to tell us a little more about Voivod. Leah. Michelle, Quebec has one of the most vibrant heavy metal scenes in the world. If you're a major metal band, Montreal is likely going to be one of your tour stops. Here in Quebec, Voivod had a local and international following, and their success helped inspire other bands as well as help evolve the metal scene here. In Quebec, Voivod was a pioneer on the Quebec metal scene. There were few homegrown bands to emulate. The band members grew up in Jean Pierre but their influences came from outside the province. Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, and later Metallica. Here in Quebec, all, the, all you could get, like all there was at that time was like bands that were doing covers. So you had bands that were doing covers from the 70s, from like, you know, play Led Zeppelin in bars and stuff like that. But Voivod didn't want to do covers. The band wanted to do something different. So and then we decided, okay, like, no bars, let's do our own song and let's try to find a record deal. And that's what happened. We actually were lucky enough to get a record deal right from the beginning. Voivod reached the peak of their popularity in 1989 with the album Nothing Face. Its unique sound and guitarist Piggy's distinct chord use pushed them onto the world scene. That kind of international success by a Quebec metal band was unheard of and it put the province on the map. Because of Gilles Villeneuve, we have a lot of uh, drivers in Quebec. So because of Bjorn Borg, there's a lot of Swedish uh, tennis players. And because of Voivod, because Voivod, they were the first to do it. And young people were, were seeing Voivod. If they did it, we can, we can do it also. Quebec's metal scene might not be the Seattle of the grunge scene, but metal heads are looking at what Quebec has to offer. We have a good structure also. We have uh, media, I mean underground media like uh, radio shows. Uh, we have also a few good record labels. We have store and there's a lot of shows. Our big tours are coming to Montreal. Let's go this carnival! In the 90s, thrash metal bands such as Oblivion had some success. Today, Negativa is getting attention. Formed by ex-members of the band Gorgat, their new album is highly anticipated by metal fans. There is a hype around the Quebec scene in the last few years, which is very good. Um, Voivod had begun the work 10 or 25 years ago, and now it's starting to play. 25 years ago, there was no metal scene in Quebec. There was no money or promoters. Now, bands are using top-of-the-line equipment, have major record deals, and are touring internationally. Uh, you go anywhere, you can go in Germany, France, United States. If a band's come from Quebec, they say, okay, this must be good. Five years of Quebec metal will be held at Club Soda over the September long weekend and organizers felt it was important for this generation of metal fans to understand where their music came from. A special induction will be for Piggy, the former guitarist for Voivod, who died of cancer in 2005 and he'll be inducted into the Quebec Metal Hall of Fame. Michelle. Yeah, glad to know there is such a thing. Uh, all right, Leah, thanks a lot. You're welcome, thank you.